It's another Wednesday, so you know what time it is. It's time for another Double XL freshman class list, and we're gonna rank our top 10 from that year. And um, I, I got nothing more that I wanna just, just play the music, just play the music. What's well, really good, guys? It's your boy, Spider Man is here for Heal Kaiju, and welcome to Jabba Free Radio, our music review and discussion show for the channel. And also, happy hip hop hum day to everybody out there, all of our Kaiju crew. We got ourselves another double XL freshman class where we get to rank them from one to 10. But before we jump right into that, y'all know how we got to do things around here. Make sure to subscribe to us to help see this channel continue to grow, and also hit the bell icon to get notifications like actual, legit notifications for each video that we drop here on the channel like any of the content that you do enjoy and make sure to comment down below give me your top 10 ranking yourselves because we do like to hear from you our kaiju faithful as we said at the top of the video we got ourselves another double xl freshman class we're gonna rank them from one through ten we join the likes of nipsey hustle j cole big sean and a few others if this is your first time really watching one of these videos it's only our third video so it's like not really much of a trend, but there is no metric. If, you, if, you're, if you're wondering what's causing me to rank somebody at number one or number three or number five, it's really just based upon my own personal opinion because opinions are like asshole. Everybody has to have one and you know, I decide I wanna just throw you guys mine for this one. So I'm just going based upon my personal feelings, uh, which ones that I enjoyed the most, which ones that seemed the most intriguing for me and who has the best body work in my opinion. That's just how it is. And also, if you want to join along with us, we do put the playlist, we curate the playlist and put it down in the link in the description below. So if you wanna go ahead and listen along with what I feel is the some of the best hits, some of the best music from this list, go ahead and do that. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Loafers out of Louis V, late to the party, man. I be on CPT, fit it back, eyes low, every time you see me, yeah. Donis, in my opinion, showed a lot of promise. I like his style, I liked his flow, but since 2010, he hasn't really produced much of anything. And now he signed with Atlantic Records in 2010, but he has only been able to produce a few mixtapes here and there. And I think I was only able to drop a couple of tracks that I actually liked on the Spotify curated playlist that we made. And it's just a shame because I really kind of wanted something more from him, but since he really doesn't have much of a body of work, that's why he's in my number 10. Okay, so to be fair, I think what puts OJ to Juice Man and my number nine is his ad libs. They're infectious as hell because aside from that, I don't get anything from his, his lyrics, anything from his flow, but like those ad libs still keeps me listening. It is, it's, it's one of those weird things because like I shouldn't like it, but every time I hear that, I, I, okay. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm listening. You got my attention. So that's why he's my number nine. Thought you was nice, but I got news for you. Sort of kind of appeal twice. It's nice as rice with the 49ers. Hang bring a horror houses. You softer than Dora Powell. Now, Pill initially started off with that Maybach Music Collective with the likes of Rick Ross and Wale, who was also uh, on my previous list, one of my favorite rappers, in fact. So that's kind of why I started giving him a little bit more play than, uh, than a few others, other than the others uh, beneath him on that nine and the 10 spot. But at number eight, it's definitely going to be Pill. I know he's left uh, Maybach Music since then. I want to say in like 2016, 2017. Uh, but I'm still hoping that I get to see something more from him because again, he does have a nice sound to him. So here's hoping that he we get so much more in the next uh, few years. Now, number seven, I got Wiz Khalifa. Now, Wiz has had a lot of massive hits early on in his career, though recently, I think he's kind of fallen off in comparison to where he started. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of dropped him one spot. I had him at number six. I dropped him down to number seven in favor of this guy right here. 
Give a grade A performance No waste but a cake's enormous Dirty ass mouth but a face is gorgeous She gon' make a playboy pay her mortgage Escape in Now this one's kind of a shame because I really, really, really like Fashawn right here. Uh, but the top five for this list is really stacked and somebody had to just get bumped out. And if it had to be anybody, and it's a shame that it has to be anybody, but it's gotta be Fashawn. So he's at my number six right here. I like a lot of his music. I like, a, I really like his flow, really kind of a, not, I don't, I don't want to say underground-ish flow, but I, I really do like it because that's where I got a lot of my start for, you know, exploring hip hop in my, in my own time. So I got him at number six. No, your mama didn't raise you to take no disrespect, yeah. I feel, I feel like real queens know Big Sean, for me, gets a really big boost to number five from being a part of that Good Music Collective. He's put in a lot of work doing a lot of great features here and there. Some of his music has been improving over the years. He's really grown on me as a rapper versus how he started off where I was kind of rolling my eyes a little bit to a lot of his as you know a lot of his rhymes from early on in his career. But lately, he's really been stepping it up. So he solidifies himself at number five on my list. On, and I got racks on. Don't be bitter, yo dope. They reconsider that shit be stepped on. Eastside Johnny way out that project, but then I get my rep on. Now my top four is really, really, really packed. I could really put J-Rock maybe one spot higher, but I think he's right here. He's good right here at number four. Um, you know, being a part of TDE definitely helps, but he stands out on his own in such a way that he is definitely a solid number four on this list. Freddie Gibbs is definitely a don't judge a book by its cover kind of rapper, or at least a don't judge a rapper by its flow kind of rapper. Because initially I was, I will admit that was kind of cold on him, but I, I really grew into him when he started working with the likes of Mad Lib and it really propelled him, his stock in my eyes. So he's definitely my number three on this list. Now my top two has been kind of interchangeable over the past few days as I've made this list. Because on the one hand, I have one guy who I've been listening to since basically day one of their career and just been enjoying a lot of their music. But then I started thinking, did they really give me a punch in terms of their like body of work, collective body of work versus, you know, just give me something good to listen to versus the other guy who I haven't been listening to until recently, admittedly, but has been having such an impact ever since I have. And it's made me want to explore more and more of what he's been doing. So my number two is starting right now. But I'm back on the scene. I was lost in a dream as I write this a teen down in Austin. I've been building me a house back home in the South. My won't believe what it's costing. And it's fit for a king, right? Or a nigga that can sing in the slain. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with J. Cole as my number two on this list. As I said, I enjoy everything that he's done. It's just when I started to think about like who I wanted to make my number one is the one that had the most impact. And while, yes, I enjoy J. Cole, has he really like hit me in my gut? with anything amazing lately and he's been he's been enjoyable to listen to but he, i did i never felt that gut punch and i know i'm stumbling over that but i've never really felt that gut punch from him so he's going for my number two i'm front line every time it's on nick 100 pro flow run and shoot pro 458 drop playing bulletproof so every few shows I and number one is definitely Nipsey Hussle, a rapper who has been suggested on my playlist time and time again, who I think I haven't really given a fair shake until recently. And I feel bad for that because I really should have given him his roses while he was here because everything that I've listened to when I've delved into his catalog, as short as it may be, because he hasn't been here that long in, until he was sadly taken away from us in 2018. Everything that I've heard from him has been just bar after bar after bar setting my brain on fire. It's, I guess that's one, is that a word? Is that a phrase, setting your brain? Regardless, Nipsey Hussle is my number one. Definitely my number one. And there you have it. That's my list for the Double XL freshman class of 2010, ranked one through 10. Go ahead and drop a comment down below so you can give me your rankings. 
tell me who you got as your number one or even tell me that my list was wrong in your opinion because again we do want to hear from you our kaiju faithful also head on over to patreon.com slash hill kaiju where you can get updates on the site the store and the channel and you can also head on over to hillkaiju.com slash shop where you can get some new merch even some new masks some new accessories here and there because we got it just for you and also it's it's hard out here i i understand um when it comes to justice it's never given you have to wrest control from the powers that be from the systems that make it hard for you to feel safe to feel respected to feel seen in this country anger is justified frustration is justified only thing i can say is if you're out there especially if you're out there in louisville please be safe I love you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Deuces.